Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is Tuesday, January 30th, uh, 2024 here. And uh, we are in Wilmer, Minnesota. I'm going to be headed to York, Nebraska tonight. Um, I got here last night and uh, I got here quite a bit early. My appointment was for 7 a.m. And uh, they didn't get me loaded until about 1 o'clock this afternoon. So I uh, had some time, went and grabbed lunch at Applebee's. Um, they actually were nice enough to put the trailer in the door for me and take it out. And then uh, when I got back um, to the shipping office, um, one of my buddies, Efren, was here um, in his nice uh, KW. So he is a, has a door now, and we're going to run down to uh, Iowa together. Um, but he's got this uh, beautiful uh, Kenworth here. So uh, if you if you want more channels to follow, um, definitely hit up Trucking Cartel on Instagram, or uh, it's Efren E F R E N. SVT on YouTube so that's one channel to, to check out but we are gonna be hauling um, some not frozen product I think it's like turkey or something out of here um, I don't know exactly what it is but yeah we're gonna haul this down to a cold storage facility down in York Nebraska and I'll probably make a stop in Sioux City Iowa on the way down um, but I am going to do some paperwork and then uh, then we'll get rolling because I am all loaded and ready to go. All right, this is why you keep your tools on hand um, because uh, you never know when you're going to need them. So uh, the butane torch that Efren was using did not uh, last or have enough butane. So we're bringing over my kit gonna see if we can get this job done while they're uh, loading uh, the lights still red so we still got time here in the Lamar's Iowa and this is probably one of the most authentic Hispanic places I've ever been to and the food here looks amazing like, what's funny though for Efren here probably is having me to try to pronounce some of this uh, 
stuff on the menu. <laughs> Wait, what about pronouncing? I would say it's probably funny for you watching me to try oh, to pronounce it is, some of this it stuff. Is, yeah. Because I'm doing it completely like, wrong. Like tostadas, uh, what do you Re say? Like, Re Relenos. Relenos, rellenos, <laughs> fajitas. <laughs> well, I know that one. That's what you know. Fajitas. But pescado em empanizado. 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 Oh. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Uh, mojara. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's actually mojara. Uh huh, mojara. Yeah. You gotta roll the R. Yep. Um, which there was another one that you said. I think I think it was this one. Say this one. Uh, revu revu revueltos. 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 <laughs> 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 But man, the food here looks great, and uh, we're excited to we're excited to try it when it comes out. Sopes yeah. and fresh seafood, man. Well, uh, we are stopped in Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska at somewhere here QT quick trip the wrong quick trip the real quick trip is uh in the north up by Wisconsin Minnesota so if you see this this uh quick trip here yeah that's the fake one <laughs> but uh we're here and gonna get something to drink before uh make it over to our destination He's tired. I could keep going. Yeah, I'm tired. I could go to bed already. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're here in New York, Nebraska. About to check in. Um, trucks line up over there, and then the office is somewhere down that way. And then, from what my experience has been before. You back in to docks off the street and then your truck partially blocks this road. Which, I mean, there's nobody here at five o'clock in the morning, but I have had it where uh, when I've delivered it about 8 a.m. and that road gets kind of busy. So you're, you're blocking a through fare through town so it's kind of kind of an interesting place here so but I'm gonna go find the office last time I got here there was somebody outside that grabbed my paperwork so I didn't have to I didn't have to go find the office but this time we do so I will uh catch you here in a minute well I guess dispatch lied and this place is lying too because I was told I had a 5 a.m. appointment and right now it says that the receiving hours are 7 to noon so I think that I am going to have to come back, which means I get another couple hours or hour worth of sleep, something like that. So I'm gonna go back to the truck and uh, come back here in a bit. All right guys, it's about, uh, I don't know, 7.15 or so. And uh, we are in a door and apparently they unload pretty fast here, but as you can kind of see, um,
So I was 20 minutes early getting to the door and there was a line of four truck drivers. So, but they say that this door here, that door, the one that I'm in, is the fastest one to get unloaded. So, we'll see, I guess. So. Well, we're about to take off here. Got unloaded in York, Nebraska, and uh, I don't have a load yet. Um, so the plan is kind of to head back towards home. I don't know what I'll find along the way, but uh, probably go get some breakfast and maybe wash the truck. Um, but right now there's not too much in York. Typically you can find something coming out of Omaha, but, um, or out of Iowa, but once you get a little bit into Nebraska, uh, it's slim pickings. And uh, as you can see, I mean, I don't know, I can't see this for sure, but there's several other trucks here that are still waiting to get unloaded. And there's several trucks that got unloaded, so they may or may not have freight. A lot of them are have Iowa logos on them. So, but yeah, I'm going to head back towards uh, home or Omaha and see what I can find. All right, guys. Well, before leaving York, um, I decided to get the truck washed because there's a chance that uh, we got a load out today. So, oh boy. Um, so, but in York, Nebraska, um, there's a Blue Beacon truck wash here we're gonna try to try to get try to hit up there is a line so hopefully it doesn't take too long it's not the longest line I've ever seen at a blue beacon they've got two bays here so we're gonna we're gonna stroll in Citrus on the aluminum, Rainex on the tractor, and the salt away on the carriage wash. And then a basic trailer wash. Have a good day and go haul out.